green is the fire of the rainbow so high Dream is to fly over the rainbow so high And every day of the week we party up In the club loving them models up And every night we raise them bottles up So high like a villain Diabolical of Bonnie Another Friday, another Starbucks group ride, you know what it is. Uh, so this is just me on the front, just swapping some turns. So basically, easy format, very chill for like first half an hour. So then we just swap some turns, nothing too crazy. And there's about 5k stretch where we just absolutely blast it. Now this week was a lot harder than usual. I think I averaged 297 watts for 20 minutes, which is about 314, 315 normalized. Uh, which is, you know, <laughs> pretty much like a 100%, 100% IF. Um, so it's the same as my FTP, more or less. So yeah, it was, a, it was a tough day out. Anyway, I'm just on the front here. We zoom ahead a little bit. The lads have stepped up to 54k an hour. And the, I mean, on these roads, obviously, the speed's a bit ridiculous. Like, in reality, this would probably be like 47 and a normal road. Uh, but anyway, it was good, good laugh. But it was a look, very aggressive uh, today. And I just want to sort of commentate on how to try not to get dropped. Um, it's, quite, it's quite easy on these rides um, to get dropped if you're not really paying attention, um, as even if you have good fitness, like, even if you're stronger than most people. Like, for me on this ride, my main objective was more just to try and get as much training benefit as possible, so I did real long turns, like, as hard as I could, and, like, I wasn't trying to win, I mean, even if, if that's a sort of a thing, to, like, the group ride. So here you can see I, d I come through pretty strong, just trying to hold over 450, um, and just keep the speed up, because everyone seemed to be hitting it now, I was like, alright, boys, let's go. Um, but uh, yeah, like if I was trying to win this, I'd just maybe do a 20 seconds turn at this in intensity. But instead, I want to do a longer one, uh, more like 40 seconds or so, um, just to really try and stress myself. Because otherwise, I find like it's not really enough stress on my body. Um, so anyways, here you can see I've pulled off. And then these guys have come through. Uh, and you suddenly see that there's a massive gap. And I've got to hop on the back of them and do another turn. So that's the other thing. Number one is just like make sure you're aware of what's happening behind you in the group. Like is it getting split up? Is there a massive difference in speed? Do you need to make sure you're like your speed is pretty similar, like, you obviously, you don't want to have to jump massively different in speed when you're dropping back, so you just need to pay attention to that, and also pay attention who's looking weak, like, sometimes it's good just to slot in behind, uh, in front of someone who's maybe not as strong, uh, so here I'm just doing, like, a decent turn, but not crazy, because I was sort of quite tired, um, and you can see I get in the aero position, which I do quite enjoy recently, uh, I've been practicing in that, and I find it's relatively efficient, Christian comes flying through uh, a lot faster than me, and I have to try and sprint back up to speed, you can see here I'm, like, real cook today. My sprints were not good. Uh, I couldn't hit any real high power. I don't think it even had like 900 watts or something. It was quite embarrassing really. Um, but anyway, this is coming to the end of this part. Normally this part is just relatively chill. Everyone's just taking like nice turns. But this week it was a uh, real full gas. Uh, and then basically we turn left in a bit. Uh, and this young guy, uh, I thought he was good. He wore, had some like yellow jersey from Chiang Rai. So I was like, all right, decent bloke. Anyway, we just turned left. Uh, there's me, Christian and young lad from Chiang Rai, <laughs> or I don't know, I think he did a race in Chiang Rai, anyway, we'll just call him young lad, so young lad is doing some decent turns, Hayden's there as well, um, he's from Canberra, you might see him in my, some of my other videos, uh, but he basically is sort of on his own, I decided to close the gap, because no one else looks like they're going to close it, uh, and just, I, normally when I try and close gaps, if you want to be annoying, you just surge it massively, uh, but if you're, yeah, so that's sort of basically what I did to try and drop more people, but basically he's here, um, and I was pretty cooked at this point because I just had to surge, close a decent gap. Um, but I'm trying to recover as much on his wheel. And I think the thing you have to realize with the group riders, like here, I like did a decent pull, but I didn't really want to do a full, like a solid pull just because I wanted to uh, recover quite a lot. So I, you know, I do like maybe 30 seconds on the front, but not mega intensity. Um, and I think the thing with the group riders, you have to be quite aware of your own ability to compare to others. Like if you are weaker than other people, just don't pull as long. Maybe only do 20 second turns, and everyone else is doing 40 second turns. Like that's fine. Um, but if you get stuck at the back of the group, that's also not a good thing. So it's better just to go through, maybe only do a five second turn, just go to the front, just do a little turn, just sw swap off. That's a lot better than staying at the back because then it's just like you have to close so many gaps. And I think a lot of people at the beginning when they're sort of noobs don't like to do that because they're sort of worried that people will be like, what are you doing? Or they don't want to get involved. But it's like, just get involved, do a five second turn on the front. That's way better. Uh, and then you also learn how to ride in a group. But you can see here again, this bloke's doing some decent turns, but nothing absolutely nuts. I think on this bit, I decided to do a solid turn because I was feeling quite confident. But the thing is, this is always risky because someone might attack you. And um, again, it's like the, how strong you want to pull on the front. It's like if someone attacks, you should be able to respond. So if someone attacked now, I probably would be able to respond. But when it comes to the end of your turn, it's like you still need to be able to respond. That's why you don't want to absolutely kill yourself. Um, but on this, bot, on this part of the um, group ride, it's always very interesting because some people 
uh, you can tell are suffering because they do real weak turns. Um, but often the people who are suffering somehow sort of survive longer because they're more worried about their energy. While well, sometimes I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm going to do ridiculous pulls and then just get dropped. And it's like, well, that's sort of pointless. Like, it's good for your fitness, I guess, but not great for... Um, not great if you want to sort of win the group ride. Like obviously group rides you don't really win, but like there's always a sprint and it's always a good laugh to try and win. So this guy is now on the front again, doing some decent turns. He was really annoying because he's small, so I don't get much of a draft off him. Like normally I get a draft off everyone because pretty much everyone's bigger than me or slash not as aero as me. But this guy was pretty aero. So again, you can see he just flicks the elbow out. He did a decent turn. Uh, my hands will be in this camera footage quite a bit just because I'm getting the aero position. Like that's life. Um, I sort of did, forgot about the GoPro was on. Normally if, I, if the GoPro is on, I try not to do it as much just because I know it's not great. Uh, but again here, you know, trying to just hold decent numbers. Um, unfortunately, I have no heart rate because my heart rate monitor is messed up, but I was suffering quite a lot now. Um, I sort of knew it was sustainable, but I, as in, if someone attacked me now, it would be real tough to try and respond, so I didn't really want to do that. But anyway, this group now comes through, so the, the people from behind have now caught us. And as soon as you realize that, I was like, oh God, this is not good because the speed difference is going to be huge. So what I should have done is look behind a little bit earlier and seen that the speed difference was quite, like people were catching me and then pulled over early. But luckily I managed to hop on the back. Um, and you can see we're going, we're going like maybe four or five K an hour faster than that guy. So he's going to really have to surge to get back on. And that's always the thing. It's like, you've just got to make sure that when you do your pull, you'll be able to ride a decent enough wattage so that you're not too slow and then surge back on and also the other thing is just ride as close as you can to that line to try and get as much draft as possible so here you can see we haven't actually we stepped up the speed a decent amount but it's just like i don't know this guy attacks and i'm like all right boys let's go because i thought this was the end so i i sort of follow him um and i see i look around there's no one on my wheel so i'm like all right i'm just going to attack straight over the top of him uh, and see what we can do and then i quickly realized that was a big mistake because the finish line is a long way to go so anyway i attack here Again, not a big attack, just, you know, a decent, decent attack. Um, and I remember just put the hands over the top. I was like, right, boys, let's, uh, let's settle this home. Uh, and then I was like, I thought it was just around this corner, like to the left. I was like, oh, yeah, that'll be it. So, oh, yeah, I'll probably get this. And then quickly I realized, like, ah, it's a long way to go. So I basically stopped pedaling here because I thought if I did do a full gas effort and I got caught, I'd get dropped. So I was thinking more uh, in terms of just not getting dropped. So you can see I'm just freely winging, freely winging, going a lot slower. And as soon as I see that group, you've got to accelerate straight away to try and like get back onto the group because you can see we're going 38k an hour and now we're going up to 46k an hour and that's when you get dropped so it's just best to just always try and stay close to the speed that the group's riding sometimes it might seem more tiring but those big surges really skyrocket your heart rate and they also just always mess up your legs a lot so you can see here people are actually doing some decent turns like not too long often if people do really long turns and you don't get much draft when you're sheltering back but now the speed is again kicked up to 48 k's an hour um, and you know it's going to be tough. I think on this part, I was real, real, really cooked. Like, really, really cooked. Because I just attacked, then had to do a huge sprint to get back on. I think this guy does a turn, and I do, like, literally the weakest turn ever. I think I, yeah, I do a 10-second pull. And the guy behind me was like, I was slowing down too much, so he's shouting at me not to slow down too much, which is actually a good point. Because, look, we're going 40 here. Um, and if you're behind someone who's slowed down, obviously you can't speed up, and then you've got to get back on the end. So, again, I got, managed to get back on the end just about. You can see I'm really struggling on. And that was... Like, good for me, because that basically, it didn't really tie me out that too much, because I didn't actually do a proper turn, and now I'm just trying to recover, because I'm at the back of the group, and it's all looking it's all looking good. So if you are ever are feeling tired, just, like, do a short turn. Um, <laughs> I love doing them, <laughs> when you just, like, do, like, a 10-second turn, and everyone's like, come on, mate, I know you can do more than that. You're like, yeah, but I'm tired, like... Uh, and I think this is where the guys decide to launch it and I'm just on the limit. Yeah, this guy just gets to the front and just launches it up and I just cannot close that gap. I am too weak. Um, you can see there's a bit of a gap opening up and this guy just puts his head down and just goes. And you can see I'm chasing like 400 watts, but I can't really sustain that. And I think I, I go around and flip my elbow and see if anyone comes through um, because I'm absolutely gone. So this guy comes flying past and I just can't get on his wheel. Then Blue Man again tries to get get on his wheel and blue man does get on the wheel and i can just see them going up the road here and i'm like oh god this hurts a lot but you can see my power hasn't dropped completely i was like i might be able to pull them back so you can see now i'm getting a little bit like oh yeah i might be able to pull them back and my, my goal was now is just like just time trial to the end and see where you can come because people will normally get up get dropped or whatever and um i just wanted to try and get some training benefit from this but you can see that was really obvious how i got dropped i was just too cooked before and then that little gap opened, couldn't close it, and then everyone saw it and just attacked straight past me. Um, and you've got to be able to close that gap. So, and this guy now is like, all right, I'm going to get him back. So you can see now, like, I'm only doing 42K an hour, which isn't, it's like 6K an hour less than we were doing before. Um, but I'm going past that guy. Uh, and I could see I was actually closing to the people up front because they were sort of hanging out for a sprint, didn't really want to do anything. 
and they weren't really committing that much. But you can see my watts are so much worse than um, what they were before just because I was so tired. So in retrospect, that attack I shouldn't have done. Um, if I wanted to stay with the group, I should have just like followed the guy and then as soon as he attacked, do like a, just a pull like 400 watts for a little bit and then, and then rest and recover instead of doing a, another attack and then I just got dropped. But anyway, it's all good training. Um, the sprint is coming up around this part here. I think there's some tree. The other problem is I actually have no idea. Like all the roads to me look pretty similar. I can't really tell. And this road just winds and winds and winds. Um, but I should have actually realized it was a little bit later. But this is the tree I believe that everyone sprints to. Um, so I got third on the group ride. I mean, it's nothing to really write home about, is it? Let's be honest. But it was a good training day. Uh, and then I just did like uh, 285 watts for like 35 minutes up the door. Just sub threshold, not nothing too crazy to be honest. It was pretty, pretty chill. Did quite enjoy it. Some saw some of the Thai national team, which is always good. Um, and yeah, so that will be that's my training for today. Pretty good. I was pretty cooked. Had a good good two hours sleep actually. I was feeling really tired because um, I had to wake up. Decent. Well, I woke up at five thirty and I just can't seem to go to, go to wake up later, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but anyway, tomorrow will be full gas on the Doisa Tep. Uh, hopefully we'll PR. Uh, 28.35 at the moment. Hopefully we'll be able to get 28 maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next bit.